I had a couple of questions, if it's all right. <laughs> I, I was astonished to read in your story that it was the university bookshop that actually tipped off the authorities. And I wonder what that says about the state of academic freedom in the university. And, and I wonder if you tell us a bit more about that. The other thing that comes to mind, I'd really like to know how you see this new political party developing, what steps will need to be taken, what difficulties you might face. Um, any more questions from the floor, please? Yes. I think I heard that one you said that you are not Thai. Would you, would you proud to be British and half Chinese? Is that because you desperate to be the future of Thailand or do you really mean it? Or maybe you didn't say that and correct it. So are you asking you John proud to be Thai? Well, I heard that one, he said he's proud to be half British and half Chinese. Is that, is that correct or is it just because he desperate with the future of Thailand? Yeah, so a question about the Muslim minorities who are being exploited in, in Thailand and um, <coughs> does Charles think something can be done about this? I just would like to comment about the uh, southern problem because you say that the, the yellow, they, they didn't talk about any human rights but um, the why of the uh, lawyers, uh, some Chinese Nila uh, she did join the yellow shirt at the beginning and they, they did uh, talk a lot about the human rights, and I myself is Muslim. My, lots of my friends, they support the yellow shirt. So um, the red shirt, most of them are the people from the north and the, and the northeastern. So it's not so true that people, that poor people support the red shirt. But many people in the south, they support the yellow shirt. And many of them are Muslim as well. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I got all that. It was about the division in the country between, you think there's a division between yellow and red shirts sort of on the basis of north and south of Thailand, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's the case. Yeah. But I just want to point out that uh, the yellow shirt is uh, heterogeneous as well, and many of them are poor as well. Um, the question about me being Thai is a pathetic question that um, is being raised by the um, yellow shirts, because that's all they can say in response to my position other than to say I'm a dog and an and a, um, iguana and I, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, in reality, I wrote an article lampooning and condemning the PAD for their uh, nationalism over the um, temple on the border between Thailand and Cambodia. And I said that the temple was clearly um, Cambodian that this was a ridiculous um, whipping up of nationalist fervor. And in order to incite more hatred, if you like, um, and up the ante, I said, I'm not Thai because my mother is English and my ch father is Chinese. But I was born in Thailand, but the king of Thailand wasn't born in Thailand. Um, and half the population of Bangkok uh, Chinese um, in ethnicity. The issue is really that we, in Thailand we have a very diverse population, but the nationalism of Thailand is such that everyone's supposed to be Thai. There are Chinese people, there are Mon, there are Cambodians, there are um, Malay people, and everyone is supposed to conform to being Thai. So I'm afraid the Yellow shirts didn't quite get the point that I was being sarcastic. Um, <clears throat> there is no academic freedom in Thailand because Jula Longkorn University actually gave my book to Santiban, the secret police, and they refused to sell my book before that. Actually, Tamasad University Bookshop did sell my book for a while until they were sent a warning letter by the secret police. But it was too late because I've sold every single copy of the book that I produced. And it can be downloaded for free on the internet. Um, so it didn't really work very well. But the point is, 
about academic freedom, and I think that's very, very important. Today, we don't really have proper academic debate. Myself and some of my colleagues in the universities have had to fight tooth and nail to have courses for first-year students in the Faculty of Political Science where we train people, students, to write argumentative essays. Because the, the normal way to educate people is to tell them that you've got to write a descriptive essay um, giving only the point of view of the elite. And to, to actually say you've got to write an essay where you give two opposing points of view and then you've got to take one side or the other and it doesn't matter which is actually very explosive in Thai and that shows the underdevelopment of academic life in Thailand. You can't really have debates with people. Academics don't read each other's work if they disagree with each other. If you have an argument, it's taken as a personal dis uh, uh, disagreement. And that leads to idiocy. And that's what Les Majeste is about. It's about building a society of idiots who can't, oh, are not allowed to say what is the truth. Now, the issue of the South is a very important issue, and it's all tied up with ethnicity again. It's all tied up with this, are you Thai? If you're not Thai, go somewhere else. You know, the usual statements from the yellow shirts. Um, but actually, most of the majority of the people in the three southern provinces that are now Thailand are not Thai. They're Malay Muslims because Thailand took over the Bhattani Sultanate. Thailand conquered and um, colonized the Bhattani Sultanate. So, in my opinion, the people, the Malay Muslim population in the three southern provinces have the right to succeed, to divide themselves, to separate from Thailand, if they want to. If they don't, they can stay with Thailand. But what really has to happen is that the Thai authorities, the Thai state has to pay them respect. And don't tell me the yellow shirts are people who would pay them respect. Unfortunately, Thaksin didn't pay them respect either. He murdered quite a few. But that doesn't mean that ordinary yellow, red shirts, ordinary red shirts can't be brought round to the idea that if we're talking about democracy, you can have democracy in the South as well. It may be an uphill task, but it's necessary to say this. Because, you know, that's the way we're going to build democracy in Thailand, is by, giving, by respecting different people's rights. And don't tell me the um, widow of the murdered um, lawyer, Som Chai Ni Lapai Jit, is a yellow shirt. She didn't join the yellow shirts wholeheartedly, I can understand why she went on some PAD platforms. After all, it was the government of Thaksin Chinawat that murdered her husband. But did the military government that staged the coup do anything about the murderers? No. Is the Democrat Party going to do anything about the murderers? No. So, you know, I think that really, what is, the, what is the policy of the Democrat Party towards the three southern provinces? Is it to allow people um, to have full freedom, the right to self-determination, or do they want to keep the military there? And you will find that they want to keep the military there. 